Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sand Meat Market Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chucky Doak Lady Black Knights basketball team. As always, I'm joined here with Chucky Doak head coach Kyle Donahue. Coach, how are we doing this evening? Great, man. Welcome back in. Thank you for allowing me back in. Is it just the coach's office? Doesn't have a name? No, this is the coach's office. I think you need a name. Sometimes it's the principal's office. Yeah, that's <laughs> but not today, not right now. I think we need to come up with a name for your office sometime. We'll see. Should we have a fan poll? We'll see. Y'all love fan polls at, at Grassroots. Do we? GRSportsMedia.com. What I fan polls know. do we have? Well, I looked on the uh, looked on the website. You still got the uh, which Football coach? coach. Yeah. yeah, no, that needs to be changed. Dalton. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shout out, Dalton. Uh, anyway, we need to do a uh, we need to do a best coaches show poll. See what everybody best thinks. Best coaches show. I think that needs to be a poll this year. There you go. Stick let, it out there. Let the fans vote on it. Let this the year. fans. I'm gonna have to get a theme song. Yeah, you have to. Theme song. We're going with that. T and B have a theme song. I'm you and Sam are gonna have to join up and do a show. That'd what be, would your and Sam's show be called? Man, listen. There's been many a year that Sam and I have been together. I'm not doing a coach's show with him. Come on, <laughs> give it a little more humor. I love the guy, but I'm not doing a coach's show with him. I accidentally made him feel old last week. We we're talking about Christian Derry becoming yeah, all state last year. It had been 32 yeah. years. Did not mean to make him feel old because that's when he played. Yep. Yep, 30 years ago. <laughs> what's, what's funny, when I was coaching with him, we had a, uh, you know, the Greenville Sun uh, did a five-year, 10-year, uh, maybe 25. And he was in the 25 and I was in the 10. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, he's old. We need to do one. Just one, you and Sam. Come on. We'll see. We'll see later <laughs> on. Let's talk about some wins, though. Cool. You finished the regular season with a win over Cosby. Yeah. Walked into the district tournament in the quarterfinal game, which was a knockout round against Johnson County. Came away with a win in that one. We previewed senior night last week. You had seven seniors. Yeah. We're all going to talk with them here a little bit later, too, in the second half. And they got to walk off of the court one last time in the regular season with a win over Cosby. How special of a night was that? Yeah, it was special. Anytime, any senior night is special. Uh, you know, you give the seniors the opportunity we try and have the seniors start. Um, there's obviously seven. There's extenuating circumstances and things happen, so we can't start all all seven. Um, but it, you know, it's we try and make it a special night. But um, the coach and me and the girls might tell you this: um, we've got to win the game, mm -hmm. right? No one wants to have a senior night on a loss. So you're trying to balance having things and, and pomp and circumstance for the seniors, but you're also trying to balance. We got to win this game, and we got to focus, and um, you know everybody's attentions on on two different things. So um, senior night can be difficult, um, and I thought we we started out kind of slow against against Cosby, and I thought um, the senior night festivities and things kind of got to us. Um, but it was a huge win for us, you know, going down the stretch, going into tournament time to be able to to play in a close game, number one, and come out victorious in a close game. Uh, and to have Courtney Jones as a senior make that uh, final shot was, was huge for us. And uh, I think it helped propel us into the tournament on, on a high note um, and gave us some confidence moving forward. As an athletic director, was this one of the more stressful senior nights with how many seniors there were? 22. 22. I talked about that with Sam, and this is the last time we'll mention it yeah. because – We've talked about there being 10 seniors on his team and seven on your team, and then you had five cheerleaders to the mix. You had 22 to yeah. recognize yeah. during both games. Well, we went up to Cosby last year, and they did, I think they did senior night, and they did like homecoming or something in the same night. So we sat there for ever. I don't know if you were at that game or not, no. but we sat there forever, it seemed like. And it was on a Tuesday night. So we got a little payback for them, <laughs> but it was, uh, it's awesome to see. Um, you know, in, in high school sports, you don't see big groups anymore. You'll see one or two, um, but it's it's awesome to see that group, uh, both of the groups, all three groups, um, kind of go together through um, their senior year and, and their uh, high school career as well. Um, so it's it's awesome that they could experience that together, and then you know it's awesome they could experience it as a as a. 22 person group yeah. with friends and family and cousins and siblings and everybody else on the floor. Uh, you know, it it's stressful, but it, it, it makes you proud uh, of our community and our kids. And not only did you get to win, the boys got to win too. So yeah. it's awesome when you get a sweep. Yeah. Going back to all of the 
senior nights in the county. I think all county teams went maybe nine and one on senior nights well, this year. So awesome. it's been great senior nights all around for every team Go involved. Seniors. Let's talk about the district tournament a little sure. bit. It's the most important time of the year. You got the first one out of the way on Monday night yeah. against Johnson County. I don't think you really ever trailed in that game. You might have trailed a little bit at the beginning, like yeah. when it was 6-4 or something like that. And you were able to stretch it out, get to a semi-comfortable margin, and you were able to ride the wave all the way to the end. You got a win over Johnson County. Moved into the semifinals. More importantly, granted you a trip to the regional tournament. Yeah. I think you said for the first time in back-to-back -back season since 2017-2018. How important of a win was that for your program? It was huge. You know, going into that, we've talked all year long, you want to be one or two. Mm -hmm. You want to take away that uh, feeling of we've got to win or, or it's over. Uh, I thought we came out a little a little shaky. Um, you know, having the nerves of, of that pressure game is, is something that is going to be felt by high school kids, right? Uh, no matter how much you prepare for it and how much you talk about it um, with the season on the line, it's one of those things you have to deal with. Um, I thought Johnson County, uh, Coach McLean up at, up at Johnson County took over this year. It's his first year. They've gotten better every game they've played this year, and, and they played really hard and really well. And they did some things that really hurt us uh, to start the game and, and in the first half. Um, they were taking it to us, and, and we weren't really adjusting. We got to halftime, um, and we kind of adjusted some things we were doing. But it was just an up-and-down game. Um, it was a weird kind of flow. Referee calls here and there would be kind of off, you know, that, that would break the flow. We'd get a good run of, of four, five, six, and then something would happen or we'd get fouled. And it was just a weird game. But, uh, you know, our group's a resilient group, um, pretty upperclassmen led. Um, so we were in the battle. And like, like we said the other day, you know, our one through 13 or 14 or we want to test their depth as well, so we want to get the ball moving and, and get them running. Uh, and I thought into that third quarter, into the fourth quarter, we really did that and got it out and, and started to get some layups and different things that, that allowed us to push out that lead. We're splitting this week's show between you and the seniors. Yeah. I'm sure they know because it'll probably be the thumbnail yeah. of the video. So let's preview South Green right now. Yeah, okay. That'll be tonight. For the second week in a row, I'm going to upload this on Thursday night. Oh, sweet. So this will be up uh, around an hour before tip-off, okay. and then Coach Greg's show will follow. <laughs> so hopefully everybody will have seen your interview and yeah. his interview, so neither of you can prepare for each sweet. other. But what do you expect in tonight's game? I know we talked about it a little bit after Monday night's game. You talked about you had to bring it to them instead of them bringing it to you so you could get out to that lead again. Yeah. What's your preparation going into tonight been like? We've, we've done a lot of things that uh, – we've worked on a lot of things that hurt us. Um, I'm not going to share it with everybody, but we, <laughs> we know. Um, so we've been working on our – you know, every team has their faults. Every team has things that they're good at, things that they're not good at, and it changes every year. Uh, and you got to consistently work at those. Even though it's tournament time, we still have to keep working at, at our deficiencies. Uh, I expect South Green – uh, a, to bring a crowd. I think it's going to be a big, big crowd tonight. I've talked to a kid in the hall that said, I've not come to any basketball games and I'm coming tonight. <laughs> I was like, you do know it's at Boone, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I expect them to bring their best and, and I expect us to bring our best. Um, they're going to, like like I said to you the other night, we've got to take it to them. We're, we're a better team when we are moving forward and not on our heels. Uh, and I thought during that South Green game, it was a weird day anyway. It was a makeup game. It was a Saturday. We didn't have JV. You were one of the only uh, four we, <laughs> games all week yeah, in the state. state. Of Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So it was. We had sat at home. So it was a weird game. Uh, hopefully that was the anomaly of the two of the three. We played close the other two times, losing by a combined eight points. Um, I think we match up well with them, um, and I think they match up well with us. It's just about making shots, um, taking care of the basketball, and making sure we play our defense and. And like I said, take the fight to them. Don't let it bring it. Don't let them bring it to us. Um, let's be on the forefront. I'm sure you're excited for tonight too. Yeah, you know it's it's an exciting time of year. It, I'm excited for the girls. Mm -hmm. You know, it's there's not a ton that is in my hands. It's a lot of a lot of things that are in the girls' hands, and and we're excited to go out and perform and and show what we we have. And um, I'm excited to watch them and, and celebrate with them or or be there with them. Speaking of the girls, I'm about to go talk to seven of them. Yes. All seven seniors. Yes. We'll ask them about senior night. We'll ask them about the South Green game also. They don't know, but I also want to ask them to do their best impression of you. Yeah. 
I want you to guess before I go down there. Which one do you think gives me the best impression of you? Which one gives the best? I think it might be Haley Taylor. Okay. Haley Taylor might give you the best. I think she she'll let let loose a little bit. Okay. Let <laughs> let herself go a little bit enough to. I think it'll be funny. Um, you know, there's some. What do you call them? The, Donahueisms. Yeah, they're good kids, and they're all. Uh, I love those girls, and they've like we talked about with them. I've told them all the time. You know, they're they're kind of the kickstarters of this this run for us in the last two years, and and you know, anytime you have seven, it's yeah, it's special. It's half your team. Um, you know, we've got seventeen in the program, and seven are seniors, so. <clears throat> they're they're a special group and and we love them a lot and we're thankful that they're they're with us um, and we'll miss them when it's over but we're not going to talk about that yet. We still got three more games. We still got three more games. We that, that's a good thing. We earned another game. You know, like I meant to say it early on, you're you're nervous because your season's on the line, but you can earn more, more playing games, time yeah. and that's that's what you want to do, especially now. At, at the end of the year, you want to just keep the ball bouncing. Um, you know, the old adage is survive in advance. You want to make sure you, you keep playing. And, and something we've reiterated with the girls is um, when the game stop, the, the team won't ever be together again. Um, so make sure we enjoy the journey. Um, win or lose, we have to enjoy the journey and, and enjoy being around each other. And basketball season's a grind, and it's consistently every day you're going to practice. But – um, we're trying to make it um, fun for the most part and, and enjoyable as we work. Um, but, you know, we have, we've got a standard. Um, speaking of standard, though, the standard bearer in the meat market game right now, Sand Meat Market. Check them out. Four ninety nine a pound for ground beef. Check them out. They've also got some steak prices. You're a steak man? I am a steak What's man. your favorite cut of steak? I don't know if I have a favorite cut. I just like steak in general. All man. right, you like sirloin? I do like sirloin. Seven fifty a pound down awesome. at Sand Meat Market. What about a fillet? Fillets are awesome. Well, it's eighteen ninety nine a pound for fillet mignon. What about the ribeye? Awesome, also. Awesome, also <laughs> fourteen fifty a pound. Go see them down at the meat market, Sand Meat Market. Shout out to them for sponsoring our show. They've been getting a lot of plugs. I plugged them in a lot while I was at Pizza Inn on Saturday. I saw that. Got the hat on and everything. All right. Uh, I, think, I can't remember what I said, but I plugged them in a lot, too. I, pl- I tried plugging in the others, too, but I'll It's be honest, easy when you get a hat. Thank you, is. Sand Meat Market. You. Thank you. I'll, I might wear that to your next game if I can make <laughs> it out to one of the final few games. Awesome. I know awesome. I won't be up there tonight, but like I said, you still got three more games. Three more games. You got tonight, then you've got either the championship or the consolation against Happy Valley or Hampton. And then you've got the quarterfinals of the regional tournament. Yep. Hope to make it to a regional semifinal. Definitely. Who knows how the season goes? Who knows? Still up in the air. One game at a time, though. But you got South Green tonight. Yep. Coach. Thanks, man. Best of luck. And we'll go ahead and head into break. Usually we cut the show right now. But go black got nights. something special on the second part, so stay with us. We'll get a few break or we'll get a few messages in real quick on this break. And we'll be right back here on Grassroots Media. Sand Meat Market, your ultimate meat destination. Step into Sand Meat Market for a curated selection of steaks, lamb, goat, and other quality foods. Each cut is meticulously crafted to exceed your expectations promising a dining experience like no other. Elevate your dining experience and visit Sand Meat Market today. Indulge in the exceptional quality and taste that only Sand Meat Market can provide. Join us on this culinary journey and savor the difference. Tommy's Plumbing has provided professional plumbing services to the residents of Greenville, Tennessee for over 30 years. Our experience and reputation have helped us grow our business to add locations in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Tommy's Plumbing is local and family owned and we offer a full line of plumbing services, such as kitchen faucet, shower faucets, commodes and bathroom faucets, as well as drain cleaning. We also provide outside plumbing work, such as septic and sewer drain cleanouts, as well as repair and replace. Tommy's Plumbing pretty much does it all. Tommy's Plumbing is licensed, bonded and insured. Our quality workmanship and passion to provide our clients with expert service is second to none. We guarantee we have the best warranty around. For all your plumbing needs, give Tommy's a call at 638-3662. 
Welcome back to Grassroots Media. Welcome back to this week's edition of the Sand Meat Market Kyle Donahue Show, where we cover everything on the hardwood with the Chuck Doak Lady Black Knights basketball team. As you can see, we finished up with Coach Donahue in the last half. I have the seven seniors that we talked about in the first half here with us. I'll let them introduce themselves one at a time. Any order, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead. Bree, do you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> I'm Brianna Lowe. I'm Monse Trejo. I'm Courtney Jones. I'm Haley Hensley. I'm Haley Taylor. I'm Faith Yopley. I'm Addison Ripley. All right, first question I want to ask you guys, senior night. I know it's always an emotional night. It's always bittersweet. It was a special night also, not only with it being a win, but with it being a sweep over Cosby. I know it was special for one certain somebody, too, who hit the buzzer beater. Yeah. Talk about that game. Talk about how special it was getting that win on senior night and being able to leave your home court one last time with a win. Um, well, I know for, like, for me, like, the last time we played Cosby there, they – it was like we they, we lost by like 15 mm -hmm. so we came in with like we were ready and i know like the energy was high that night we were all like very emotional and I, especially i was <laughs> I was all over the place um and i just knew it was a very emotional game and it meant a lot to, for us to take on a win <laughs> is that fourth period yes, yes. <laughs> um, you guys <laughs> i just think we came out like ready to play like we knew that like our underclassmen like stepped up and they're like we got to do this for our seniors and like we came out ready to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got South Green tonight too. Uh, you got a win over Johnson County recently, also on Monday night. That moved you into the semifinal with South Green. Also granted you a trip to the regional tournament. You all are the first team to go back to back to the regional tournament since 2017 and 18 teams. How special is that for you all, not only to go back to the regional tournament, but to be able to get another shot at South Green for the fourth time this year? Fourth? No, yeah, fourth time. <laughs> not just the third time. No, because we played in the ladies' class oh, too. We did. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I think it's very exciting because we have, like, another opportunity to beat them. Yeah. <clears throat> and I feel like we can, like, if we put all work together. And I know we're all fired up for yeah. it. I know, yeah. like, I mean, definitely the past two yeah. practices, we've all been, like, ready to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a county game. I don't really think you need too much motivation to get a first uh, county no. game. But I don't even think it's a big, like, the tournament's what's pushing us either. I mean, just the fact of playing South Green yeah. again, yes. mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and to have the chance to beat them. And, like, when we lost here, I remember, was it here? Yeah. When they were like, okay, guys, I know it hurts, but it would hurt a lot more beating them tonight. So I think we're all just very much ready to go out there and show them how we can play, who we are, and that they need to be ready for us. How fun is it playing for Coach Donahue? He's a fun guy all around. <laughs> yeah. He's a He's fun guy all around. One at a time, I want you all to tell me how fun it is playing for him. Oh, I don't play. Okay. <laughs> we'll start on this end. It's a lot of fun. He's really, he's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really to be around. I don't know. Yeah, he's very funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's very like like he knows when to like like engage and to be serious, but he's also mm -hmm. super lighthearted too and he has like a good balance between that and I think that's what like really makes him such a fun coach and stuff. Like Courtney said, he knows like when to be serious and he also knows like when to joke around with us and like have fun and he makes it fun for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you never really know what he's going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you always, he always catches you off guard. Like, we have, like, our funny sayings, like we joke mm -hmm. around with. But all around, it's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like they all said. <laughs> he's <It's> funny. funny. <laughs> and um, it's good to have a coach that you can joke around with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. also be serious. So. I feel like he's such a dad. He's such, a dad. he's such a dad. Like his demeanor and the way he does things, mm -hmm. like it's, I don't even, he's just a dad. That's all he's I got to He's a dad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and he's so like unironically funny too. Like yes. some of the stuff he like says or does, like it's so funny and hilarious and he's just looking at it. It's like, why are you yeah. laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's what this last part is. I'm going to let you all oh. have the floor for this one. Oh, I want you all to give me your best Donahueisms. You need to give me your best impression of Coach Donahue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Like, if you ask him a question, you do what's best for you, and I'm going to do what's yes. best for us. Yes. And that's yes. it. He won't tell you any other answer. That's the only thing yeah. you get. And you're like, answer, what do you mean? Like, when, am I going to die? Like, yeah. I gonna... No, and he'll just repeat it. You do what's best for you, and I'll do what's best for us. 
That's all. That's all you get. Yeah. Oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. Um, toes on the line. Toes on the line! Yes. <laughs> and and then, toes on the line, please. <laughs> and then continues on yeah. with One toes behind the other. Toes on the line. <laughs> what else does he do? Oh, uh, twin and on. I don't know if oh, twin and on. Did you say twin and on? I don't know if you guys have heard him, but here lately, like, and especially this year since we've gotten the new, like, TWSLA rules with, like, the, what is it called? Getting kicked out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 And he'll, like, where I'm sitting up with the coaches now so I can, like, see to keep stats and stuff, he'll, like, be sitting here, like, I think, I'm thinking about paying $250, and I'm thinking about getting a technical. <laughs> like, like, three or four times, like, in one game. Like, and I'm just like, okay. Or gets a warning. Okay, I got one more. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. He like <laughs> sat down the other. He was like, <sighs> and he's like, oh, it's a warning? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, okay, I got one more. Let's go. <laughs> oh. We'll be in practice, and he's been doing it a lot recently. I don't know. Anytime anyone gets hit, he'll be like, off the dome. Yeah. Off the dome. <laughs> Be dead solid, and they'll get hit in the head, and they're like, they'll be like, their eyes water. Like, oh, no, no. He told Allie, he was like, You're not the one that got hit. You're not the one that got hit. He won't ask you if you're okay. No, no. Off the dome. that's it. Whenever he practices with you all, is there anything he says whenever he makes a shot? Like, does he have a certain saying? I know some people have a certain saying that they say every time they make a shot. Does he have one? No, it kind of varies. Really. He says everything. He says everything. What does he say? Yeah. Does he say? Yeah. Give me a few of them. Um, <laughs> what? He just, or he'll just like, in he'll say, eyes. yeah, in, yeah. interface. Yeah. Interface. Yeah. interface. Yeah. 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 Or get that, that out of here. Get that out of here. Or too little. Or too little. Like yeah. yeah. Too that. little. Like this. As long as he does this. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And it's like, and especially when we're doing the post stuff and he'll like take that black thing and like hit you with it. Yeah. 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 Too, too like little. Or when a freshman misses a shot, he's like, get that out of here. And he was like, <laughs> and then he tried, he tried to take the pad off. He said you would give me the best ones, so me? I need a few more. Yes, he said you might let loose on him. So free okay. range, go for it. <laughs> My mind's um, blanking. Oh, no. Yeah, they're kind of just leaving there. <laughs> I'll never forget our first practice though with him last year when he was like, I thought it was crazy. I thought it was crazy too. Like we were talking and we just played. What did we play? We played, we played tag, tag or something. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, then God. this year we did like frisbee or frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. Yeah. Yeah. Disc yeah. golf. And I remember. And then I didn't know how unserious he was at times. Disc and he was like, Yeah, I come into the gymnasium. <laughs> oh, the gymnasium. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we went to Hampton last year for the first time during that jamboree, and like our first game, and he like looks at us like dead serious. She's like, "You guys aren't good." Yeah, he was like, "Y'all are awful." You guys are not good. You know what he said? He said, "And we were not good enough to beat anyone." That's what he said. And we just kind of like looked at each other because nobody's ever like been serious. What did he say that? Like dead serious. Told us. Yeah, like I guess it was like him telling us like we got room to improve and like. He was like, y'all are good enough to be anyone like as you are now. Mm -hmm. Him the other day when like, he said was, that we you can tell for that this is his oh, yeah. <laughs> coaching girls. Oh yeah. yes, <laughs> it's very noticeable. <laughs> and we were all just like, I remember all of us like saying nothing. We're like, oh, we oh, didn't okay. even like when they leave. Like usually, like we talk like mm -hmm. about and like nobody said anything. Yeah, we were just, just kind of like, like, like we all just sitting like, Y'all threw him under the bus for that one. We still talk about it. I'll never yeah. forget him. No, no, he'll mention it too sometimes. Uh -huh. And we like bring it up to him. We're like, yeah, we'll never forget that day whenever he looked at us and said, y'all are just awful. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that on my hand. Like, he'll ask you at the end of the year, like last year, he'll be like, what is one memory you like have from the team? And I'll be like, when you told us we sucked. <laughs> yeah. One of y'all should have done that on team you now. Like, what's your favorite memory when Coach Donnie told us we sucked? Yeah. yeah. I don't know Basically. if you think that the group <laughs> Either way, you just let everybody know. But it. hey, it's our senior night, so we get to say whatever. That's true. That's true. I feel like we it should have really like hit us though. Mm -hmm. we were yeah. Like, oh, we we're like <laughs> okay. okay. And obviously, it like really sparked something in us. But just like yeah. looking back then, I was just like, we you like, really said that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I was like, okay, this man's really coming <laughs> in here to be our coach, and he's gonna act like that. <laughs> he thinks we should. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a question I was gonna ask. Is how excited you were when he hopped on board to be your new coach. Well, I'm sure. No, I mean, 
I know my sophomore year, because I was at West Green my freshman year, mm -hmm. um, we had Darnell and stuff, and I feel like we always got told, like, oh, you have so much potential. The P word was, like, super, like, the insanity. Yeah. What's insanity. Insanity. What's the insanity? Insanity. Of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, and we were just losing over and over yes. again. Yeah. And, and then he came in there, like, it was like a wake-up call our junior year, so... Well, I thought I was going to be good at first, and then he came in there and he talked like that. And then he was like, so so and I was like, oh, man, this guy is crazy, and why is he here? But it turned out to be okay, I guess. We love oh, it. I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Fun guy to play for, though. Yes. yes. He's a great guy. But All make right. sure you watch your Disney movies. Or he'll yes. bully you. Yeah. He's, oh my gosh. Big Disney guy? Yes. He's Dirty Disney movies. And if oh you don't gosh. know what they are, he's going to bully you. Oh, Dirty. what's that Christmas the one? Winter. The Polar Express. The Polar yes. Express yes. soundtrack. Yes. Goes, Hot chocolate. Yes. <laughs> Hot chocolate. So, <laughs> during um, with the winter practices before mm -hmm. the ladies' classic and stuff, every single day we listen to the Polar straight. Express soundtrack. Over and over. And over. Every every single single day. Day. And then you have to go, oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. It was just <laughs> terrible. Yes. yes. And it, like, echoes in there. Sounds just like that guy. And then I'm just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> over and over again. That's all I listen when to. when he forced us to watch the movie. Yes. yes. <laughs> hot chocolate. With hot chocolate. Did he ruin... Polar Express for you guys. The soundtrack, the soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> I got burnt out. Yeah, I'd say so. Favorite <laughs> Disney movies before we leave? PTSD from that soundtrack. One. Oh, I thought you were like, hey, I'm a bit that you Me too. Like, what? Favorite Disney movies? Favorite um, Disney movies. Wait, like live action or cartoon? <laughs> live action. It could be, you could give me both. Ooh, Mulan. Let it shine. Mulan. Oh, yeah. Mulan? Yeah. I like one. Encanto. That's a new one. Frozen. Frozen. Haley don't watch movies. Yeah. <laughs> no. and, well, I have, but Coach Sean, he's going to call me out if I don't say it, but I haven't watched many. So. <laughs> out of the few, which one's your favorite? Oh, um, I only watched like two. <laughs> don't let him see that. <laughs> Cut that part out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The Polar Express is good. Is that a Disney movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> it's a cartoon. Um, okay, well, Frozen. 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 Yeah. yeah. You have one. Is Rapunzel? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tangled. Tangled. Yeah, tangled. Tangled. Um, yeah. probably Moana. Oh, oh that's Moana. a good one. Yeah. There's a second one coming out, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> We've got South Korea tonight. How many people are you for that game? We're ready. Extremely. We're, yeah. yes. We're excited. I'll yeah. go ahead. You guys, you guys got fourth period. No, no. No. Fourth no. Fine. You rest the day off. I do, but it's okay. I don't have to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, technically, I don't go. Also, technically. Uh, I think it's all about you guys. Thank you all for sitting down with me. It's been a pleasure. Best of luck tonight against South Green. I don't know if I'm even still in the frame or not. But thank you all for watching this edition of the Sand Meat Market Kyle If you show, look forward to seeing y'all next time here on Grassroots Media.